Look around where you are. Take a good look. Make some mental pictures. For today, it's as if God's creation is our cathedral for this ceremony. Now, Eric, Jessica, today you declare your commitment to one another. You are each unique and wonderful, individuals with dreams and determination. You are declaring before friends and family that you are going to use all that God has and is creating in you to bring out the very best in each other. For some may say love is an action. It's the motivating force behind what we do and for whom and what we care about. And that is for sure the case. But again, the true nature of love goes way beyond actions and motivations. Love comes from the very seat of your entire acting self. It's the foundation of who you are. This is really what the scripture in Ephesians is talking about. It's that love is a choice. To be humble when your pride wants to defend. It's a choice to be gentle, communicating with care for the other's heart. These things matter so much in marriage, in relationship, in everyday life. And when we choose these virtues, are we really making effort? And it does take effort to be united. So be patient. Give grace. Grace given always comes back around. Now I have watched you both. I've watched you as we've walked together in preparation for this day. I've, uh, I've watched you learn one another. I've watched you climb the treacherous mountain called finishing school. <laughs> I've watched you navigate life when, when work was chaotic. And I've watched you dig in deep when tragedy struck. I've watched both of you choose to put your faith in God and hope in Him. And I've watched you do these things as you grow together. This is so important. And the choices that you make need to be incredibly intentional to stay in that posture of growing together. And what's the reward? The reward is peace. Living together in peace. Peace is a very good thing. It's crucial. To living life well. Remember Ephesians 4 verses 2 to 6. The words are beautiful, they're selfless, and they're unified. Keep these words as a reminder in your heart. Do you, Eric, take Jessica to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to care for as long as you both shall live? Do you, Jessica, take Eric to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to care for, as long as you both shall live? I do. Now, by the power vested in me before God and the state of California, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. And it is my honor to present to you to the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Jessica Anderson. Yeah.